Good morning. Good morning. How, you How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Listen, it's going to sell so fast, we're going to have to deal with all that. Everybody that walks through, trust me, they're, it's a serious buyer. So there I was, pulling up to a red light with zero listings headed to meet a potential seller. Man, this market's crazy. It's all in the day of the life. If you're going to succeed in this business, you better love the ups and the downs. Now, this all started yesterday when I got a call out of the blue. I'm doing good. How you doing? I am very seriously considering selling my unit. Okay. You know, I can meet you you know, 9.30ish, something like that. Oh, oh that, 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 already, that, that would work out super. The mission today is pure and simple. Get this listing. But as I was leaving the house, I got a text from a past client who said, give me a call when you get a chance. Let's see what he's got. Hey, good morning, Ricky. Hey, David. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Oh, doing good. Still booming down there, I think, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's, yeah, it's still booming. So uh, there's yeah. nothing for sale. Yeah. I've got zero listings right now. Oh, man. So you think maybe we should do an offer? I would. Well, maybe we should go ahead and do that then. Uh, it's, you know, listed for 315 I would probably put that price in. That's a good price. All right, won't we do that? Yeah, you're right. You need to tie it up because the way it's, uh, it's kind of crazy now. They go, they're gonna, it's probably going to sell today or tomorrow. <laughs> Here, have a seat. I am really don't want to sell. Okay. So you're, you're probably hitting it at the top, and if not, somewhere close. close. You gotta be you know, so. Mortgage rates are gonna slip up. They may get up to four. You know, of course, I can remember when 8% was a hell of a deal. So. You know, you're never gonna hit exactly the top or exactly yeah. the bottom, but. And I know a lot of people are doing cash only. They're buying rental property, is what they're doing. So. That's where I am. I, I mean, yeah. I, I, it's, you're just trying to decide if you want to pull the trigger or pull it I, off. And my unit's about 50 square feet bigger than his by the thing. So I figure it's worth the, the appraise for five. Probably go 599.9 with it, huh? Well, what I would love to do is I would love to work, walk away with five. Okay. I would walk away with five mm -hmm. if I had to. Okay. But then your commission rates would have to be added on there, whatever you rate you, you would yeah. rate. So that would be the price of it. Okay. If you think that's in the neighborhood of. There's nothing yeah. for sale, you know? And, and location, sell, location, location. Sellers here. are naming their price now. So, I mean, we'll figure out what that, I'll figure out I'll put a calculator on that in a minute and we'll figure out what the asking price needs to be and stuff. And then we'll just try it. I mean, and if you get it, great. And if you don't, we'll figure something else out. But I would think that you'd get it, you know, because it's in good shape and it's got some upgrades and there's nothing for sale. So it's a unique property, you know, low density, close to the public beach. We're gonna that wind's blowing today. Yeah, I was supposed to be pretty. Yesterday it was blowing too. I'm ready for it to warm up. There's so many people down here when you go to multiple listing, they just like to go around and look. They don't listen. It's going to sell so fast. We're going to have to deal with all that. I, these buyers right now are serious buyers because prices are up so high. The lookers aren't looking, okay. you know, because prices are up so high. Everybody, everybody that walks through, trust me, they're, it's a serious buyer. Okay. These buyers are serious right now. 
Yeah, there's know, not there's no looky loos happening. I know when it rains the snowbirds would like to come in and they just like to go around. That's and not that's not what's gonna happen here. <laughs> you have to deal with no snowbirds coming through. And and you're right. But the snowbirds, I tried to work that market when I got in real estate and I realized they don't buy nothing. They just wanna rent. They're looking. Yeah, they're they just they, wanna they, rent. They're bored, didn't have anything else to do. My wife occasionally would go and look just to see what people, how they were decorating, you know, especially when, when there were open houses, open. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's see, I think I got you all set up here. Now, most of everything here goes. Okay. You know, like an ironing board and an iron. And I mean, you the, know. There's the three pictures here on this wall. Definitely, I'm taking. Okay. Uh, my Albi at yeah. the beach. Yeah. The building here. Yeah. There's a few. So things. basically, the list is family pictures. These three and, and pieces of art. And a few of the pictures in here. Yeah. You know, some stuff. Family pictures here. Very well taken. Yeah. All right. I got you set up right here. Okay. Um. So so this is six twenty nine. Okay, you're gonna pay the, the deed preparation, you're gonna pay title insurance, you're gonna pay commission, and then you're gonna pay prorated property taxes. Yeah, so well, you don't I, know I, when I that's gonna close, but you're gonna have a little less than forty thousand in costs at that price, which gets you five ninety and some change. Okay. Okay, so we'll sign here. That's owned by the trust. Okay. You can just sign it in your name and then when they when, and even the contract in your name. And then when we do the uh, the closing. So this is just the listing agreement. It talks about the property, the price. They can pay us cash or get us financing as an initial in the box. All right. We're gonna. It's it's being sold fully furnished. Subject to those few things. Exactly. Yeah. This is the big furniture. It's on a lot box already. It's not in a rental. It's a deeded property and part of a homeowners association. That's all the fine print. You can cancel this at any time for any reason. So if you, you know, even if we get a full price offer or something, you could, and you decide you don't want to sell, you just tell me and we'll take it off and you'll sign here. I won't hold you to it or anything if you decide, hey, it's sentimental. I want to hang off and sign one more time here. I'm going to represent you to the highest. That's it. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. All right, good. So um, I'll let you know when the photographer, he'll text him back any second. I'll let you know when he's going to come and shoot it. Okay, so let's say he comes today or tomorrow. Let's say he comes tomorrow. If he comes tomorrow, he'll shoot it. Um, it takes him a 24 hours to edit them and get it to me. That's the day it'll go live once I get the pictures back. So if we shoot it today, I mean, if you shoot it tomorrow, um, be Monday before it actually hits the market. Now I'm going to go to the office right now. I'm going to call a few clients about, it. so I'm going to be trying to yep. stir up the pot before it, you know, I've got maybe three days before it'll actually hit MLS. So I want to do what I can do to try to go ahead and get it sold before, before that happens. And then if not by then, then we'll put it out there and <laughs> it'll be, yeah. it'll be yeah, a frenzy. I don't really want any activity while I, until I leave. Okay. You want you don't want it to be shown at all while you're here? Oh, it'll be fine. If okay. You show it. I mean, if you're going to show it with somebody who's yeah very serious, yeah. I don't. You know. You don't want a bunch of people coming. Bunch in. of people yeah. coming in, and I, you know, I think my property taxes was eighteen hundred. <laughs> that is. Yeah, of course, I don't rent now. If I yeah. Had them, right. Deal with that. It, it'd be it'd be thirty six. Is there anything I need to do to the inside uh, mm -mm. to move change it around? Mm -mm. Or? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I know they say declutter the place. It's decluttered. I mean, it's it's decluttered. It's perfect. We're in good shape, man. I think you're going to be. Happy. Well, like I say, I really don't want to sell it. Yeah. I wish I didn't have to, but yeah. Uh, Cool. Yeah, you know, I've been coming down here for 50, 60 years. So. Man. Wow. Where are you from again? Hoover, Alabama. Hoover. Yeah. That's right there below Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's changed. It's not the little village, a quaint little village it once was. No. 
No, but it's still got somewhat of a small town feel compared to other places. I still love it here. I grew up here. Yeah. And I've seen it go from nothing to what it is, and I still love it. There's nowhere else I want to live. I've thought about moving to different places and, you know, what, what, what I could be if I was a real estate agent in Miami or L.A. or something, but no. this is home, so... Well, we'll get you right up out of here. All right, man. appreciate it, Ricky. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Right. Thank you. And Absolutely. I'll just look to hear from you. That's it, man. You still got a good memory. Okay. <laughs> well, my birthday. That's how I. Oh, okay. Birthday. That's easy to remember then. All right. I'll be in touch with you. All right. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, man. Let's go. Couldn't have went any better, and that is a listing, ladies and gentlemen, that will sell immediately. And then once I sell it, I'm back to zero listings. In the meantime, I just checked my email. We got the offer to submit on the other condo for my client. So I'm hoping to get that wrapped up by the end of the day as well. So let's head to the office and uh, see what's going on there. Hello. Good morning. Hey, I'm so irritated. What's that? I don't, I don't understand why. I worked as a clothing agent in California and Santa Ana and also in Las Vegas for several years. We always had closing documents like three days before closing. We sent out settlement statements to everybody. And that way, if there was questions or problems, I don't understand this whole doing loan documents or working with underwriters on the day of closing. I don't get that. Why there's a closing set for one and the loan documents, no one's done this before now. Um, I just don't get that. I mean, yeah. I understand that people are busy and stuff, but you got to at least stop and look at the file. Okay, thank you. We'll get it. Okay, bye. Right. Here are the listing documents. I will set these right down on Christy's desk so that she can take care of that. Okay, Christy's at lunch. I just dropped off the documents for her. I got the photographer set up to go by today to take pictures. We'll go live Monday. Super excited about this one. Let's head to that closing. Hey y'all. What's she doing here? Oh, just working. We're peeling eggs. All right. You peeling eggs? I got the listing. You did? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. Six twenty-nine. Oh man. It's gonna fly like a bird. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. You still got it. I still got it. <laughs> you still got it. We don't joking. got enough stuffed animals around here. Or babies. Zoom. It's going good. I got a restaurant listed here locally um, for three mil. You know, like if I could find a hundred unit, hundred plus unit, you know, complex in Huntsville, Birmingham, no, even Atlanta, um, Nashville. Like if I could find anything, I've got buyers for that kind of stuff. Um, are you guys down here or anything right now, or what's this? No, actually, we have some uh, reservations that go up until just about the end of March. Gotcha. Okay, so it's you say Crystal Shores, Crystal Shores West. What uh what's got you guys thinking about selling? Well, the way the market the bubble is right now with the market, uh we're thinking that uh it might be time to go ahead and cash out, take the profit, and then wait and see what happens when everything basically falls apart. At least I'm looking at it as a uh worst case scenario. Smart. Real smart. Okay. Um so do you have a price in mind or you want me to kind of take a look at it and tell you what I think? I'd like you to take a look what you think. What's it? Who's the rental company? Let's see. I could probably give you a roundabout idea 
right now. It's, it's, it's apples to apples. I mean, they did upgrade their granite. They got the thick granite. That's neither here nor there, you know. We're in a seller's market and there's nothing for sale. So I'm going with 535 for you. What do you think about that price? I think that sounds good. All right. Um, you want to talk to the wife or you want to move forward or how do you, how do you want to handle it from here? Um, well, we've already both talked uh, about it. Uh, Price maybe jumps first, you won't have a problem with that. Okay. What's the next step? Next step is I would get your email and I would email you docs to electronically sign. And then I would have my photographer hop in, I'm scared they're going to lose it and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, um, uh, there was something I was just going to ask you and I forgot what the heck it was. So, that What's your email? Do you want me to go ahead and load the docs up and send them to you to look at? Yeah, sure. I'll go in. I'm out in my workshop right now, but I'll go and tell my wife what you said, and she'll probably... Oh. All right. I'll get this all put together and over to you, and uh, we'll rock and roll. Great. Yes, Thanks, sir. sir. Thanks, bud. Bye-bye. See you, man. Boom! Let's get it! Yes! Okay. So let's give an update here for today. I go and score the listing this morning, 629. It's going to sell like a hot cake. Thank you, Jesus. The closing is still, still kind of up in the air. Lender tells me we're definitely closing today. We'll see, and I'll give you an update. And now out of the blue, I get a call from a seller um, and I just listed another one. So that's going to be 535 and I'm just super excited, man. Today was a good day. Okay, quick update. So the closing got delayed too far into the day and everybody's just going to do this remotely at this point. It's not going to be an in-person closing, so I don't have to go, but it is going through. And I forgot all about the offer that we made this morning, full price cash offer. So I haven't got the acceptance on that yet. The agent reached out and said, we got it and we're gonna be in touch. That's as far as we've gotten so far. So, so let's recap the day again here. We've got a listing this morning. We wrote a full price cash offer. We had an out of the blue call a listing, sent listing agreement. And we have a closing that pulled together at the last minute. Now that's a heck of a day. All I can really say, is that I'm still out here selling, I'm still out here grinding, I'm still out here trying to help as many people as I can help. I'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.